test. Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a while loop with SAS. But before we get started, I wanted to point out something. Uh, this week, I launched my first marketplace.tutsplus.com tutorial series, and it is for sale for $8. It's called SAS Mastery. While if you've gone through these videos on YouTube, I'm not going to say you're going to learn a whole lot more than what's on these videos. Uh, I will say, however, that the videos are a bit higher quality. The, um, the average length is about 10 minutes. There's 10 videos. It comes with source code, and um, all the text is a nice large size, nice and easy to read. So if you've enjoyed these tutorials and you want to support a little, feel free. It's only $8. If not, no big deal. Um, so to get started here, we're just going to work off of what we had last time with the for loop. However, I'm just going to go comment this out. Uh, save this here. So our while loop is a lot like our for loop. In fact, it's almost just like it. However, it allows us a little bit more flexibility. So just like we started before with the at, it's at while. And then now we're going to specify some condition. So before we did uh, for our incrementing variable from 2 through 8 or whatever, now you need to actually say your variable, let's say your incrementing variable, and while it is something. So some condition, this can be, you know, while this is equal to 50, and then you run through various statements and then eventually have an, uh, something that turns i into 50, and then that will stop this loop. Or you could do something similar to the for loop, and you can just say, you know, while i is less than 5. And that will run uh, i 1 through 4. So to show you how this works, we'll just build our same loop that we had before, and just a little bit differently. So inside here, we have our brackets. And just like before, we're going to do dot par hyphen. And then using interpolation, we'll just do pound bracket dollar sign i. And then we're going to have our CSS, and this time for fun we'll do margin left, margin left, and then we're going to say, maybe this one will be a bit more drastic, we'll say 100 pixels times dollar sign i. Okay, so now if we save this, we're going to get some sort of an error with our SAS. In fact, if we look at terminal, it's going to say uh, i is not defined. That's because with a while function, you need to define your i ahead of time. The for is actually defining your i here and then running through these. However, here it's expecting that this i is already defined. So just like we declare any other variable, all we have to do is do dollar sign i colon and then our value. This is going to start at 1. Okay. Uh, so we also have one more problem here. If we run through this, it's, you know, it's not really going to do a whole lot because i is equal to 1 i is less than 5, it will run through this once, and then it will just keep outputting the same thing. Par 1, margin left, times 100. Okay, so you need to increment your i somehow. So inside of our while, it's just like in a function in JavaScript or something, you can just do dollar sign i, and then you would do colon, just like you were declaring it, and then you would say uh, dollar sign i plus 1. So this time, every time you run through your loop, i is going to increase by 1, and it's going to go through this. So this should be pretty much the exact same as our for loop, except for you, we're doing a margin left in 100 pixels instead of what we had before. So if we save this, let's check out our CSS first. So you can see par 1, we have 100 pixel margin left, par 2, par 3. Okay, so let's check out our HTML. We refresh. You can see our margins are going 100, 200, 300, 400. Perfect. Excellent. So now let's try something a little bit different, a little bit more uh, interesting. We're going to recreate this uh, black to gray to white to gray. We're going to recreate that in a sort of way using a while loop. So I'm just going to go ahead and comment out um, this each one where I called my text contrast. And we're going to use this text contrast function. And this function, if you remember, is checking to see whether the background has a lightness value that's less than 50%, um, or if it has a darkness value. Except for I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to say it's going to return two things. It's not going to return a darkened version of the background color. It's just going to return white or black text. This way, it's just going to be white or black, depending on uh, the color of the background. Not a huge change here. 
Okay, so we're going to color our text contrast on the background color, and we're going to set the background color, and it's going to change every single time. So we're going to declare a new variable before our while loop here, and we're just going to call this um, par bg for paragraph background. We're going to colon, and then we're going to give this a value of 000. It's going to be black. We'll just type black. Okay. And so in here, we're going to give it a margin left of 100 pixels, whatever. We're going to give it a background of dollar sign par bg, and we're going to give it a color of, and we're going to use our text contrast function. So I'm just going to grab this, and we're going to pass it that same value. We're going to pass it the par bg. Okay, now while we iterate through this, we want this background to get progressively lighter. So we're going to do the same thing we did with our incrementing i, and we're going to say dollar sign par bg colon, so that dollar sign par bg is equal to, and we're going to call a built in SAS function, lighten, and we're going to pass it dollar sign par bg comma, and then we're going to lighten this by 25%. So to step through this, the first time we run through, it's going to set our first paragraph, paragraph one, it's going to have a margin left of 100 pixels times one, or 100, and it's going to have a background of black, and it's going to have a text color of white after it runs through this text contrast function. Once we're done with that, we're going to lighten the paragraph background by 25%, and we're going to increment our i. So it's going to run through this loop again. This time, i is equal to 2. So paragraph 2, margin left is going to be 100 times 2, or 200 pixels. Our background is going to be 25% lighter black, and our text color is still going to be white. And then for the next two, we should see the text color get black, and then black, and the background will get lighter and lighter. So we save this. Let's look at our CSS and see what we have. As you can see, there is some sort of a problem here. It looks like it's not getting our color from this uh, text contrast function. That's actually because our function is declared down here, and we're trying to use it before it's declared. So it's no biggie. Actually, just make sure I grab this whole thing, and we're going to put it up top here. OK, so now that it has the ability to see this text contrast, we are going to check our CSS. And as you can see, uh, the background's black, the text is white. The background is gray, the text is white. The background's lighter gray, the text is black. Let's check this out in our HTML file. If we refresh, you can see it goes uh, incrementally black to light gray, and our text adjusts accordingly. So that's how to use while loops in SAS. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment on one of the videos, or hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. This is Scott, and thanks for watching.